Hi, how are you? Fine, fine. Would you like to start and just introduce yourself? Sure, so I'm um, Daniel. Um, I'm a CEO of Octopus Computer Solutions. Uh, we do basically two things. Uh, one of them is uh, cloud services. We have our own cloud, around 80 bare metal servers that we provide on top of them all kinds of services. And the second thing we do is consulting, mostly for enterprises, defense-oriented sector, banks, credit card companies. Everybody's been calling for a halt to AI development. Elon Musk and a bunch of other huge names and tech leaders and big organizations. Do you think that AI is going to kill all of us, Daniel? Not all of us, maybe some. No, I'm kidding. So, um, I don't think it will kill all of us. It, it won't uh, take any jobs. Not more than a, a, a change of the paradigm of how, do, how we work, right? So, for example, we discussed about it earlier regarding the horses that uh, it moved uh, to, uh, to carriages and then to, to cars and uh, from petrol to electricity. I think this is the change that we see now uh, in the industry that uh, people will lose jobs, but they will get new jobs uh, doing something with the AI. Can you tell me a little bit about your infrastructure for Octopus? Um, yeah, so my, our infrastructure is uh, based on the uh, OpenStack. Uh, on top of it, we have a couple of uh, Kubernetes deployments. Uh, it's spread around two data centers in Israel, and we are thinking now of uh, branching out to the UK for a third data center. Uh, mostly, we have a lot of uh, VMs and instances that we provide as services, and um, we are migrating now some of the customers to Kubernetes and pods and containers and stuff like that. Nice. So, what do you think that the big, biggest bottleneck that you have is for ML development at the moment? So. Um, First of all, management is difficult, right? Uh, giving a customer all of the GPU pro that he needs, right? So it's uh, it's a problem, uh, mostly because we are, although we are a cloud providing company, we're still working uh, in old fashion. We need to buy the GPUs and provide those, and it takes time. And um, I think this is the biggest in the ML lane. Fair enough. And so what are you exactly, um, how are you solving that? How are you solving that bottleneck? How are you making sure that it doesn't happen? First of all, one AI, of course. Um, but not only that, uh, we try to understand where the dat data needs to reside next to the uh, computation power that we use. And uh, uh, currently, we're uh, still thinking of how to manage that uh, particular area. Um, can I ask a bit about your own tech journey, how it started and to get, got you to where you are now? So first of all, glasses are a must, right? Um, I was always on the keyboard, right? From the age of three on the keyboard with the, the piano and from the age of five on the keyboard with the laptops and, the, and then it was an IBM something uh, XT, something like that. And uh, Somewhere around my 20s, I started uh, messing around with Linux and open source, and it got me very thrilled until uh, I started the company. Um, just to understand, uh, I built websites when I was the age of 12, I've built uh, scripts and stuff like that at the age of 14, so I'm all around technology all my life, right? So um, uh, it's for me, it was a, a non-brainer to, to start a company and go and have that kind of uh, service that I provide for my knowledge and experience and to my employees and together we provide that to the customers. That's really nice. And what do you think your biggest achievement is so far? So, the company, basically. The company is uh, the biggest achievement in this area. Um, I don't see it that way, as we discussed earlier. Um, the reason I don't see it because for me it was uh, a natural, right? And everybody around me says, "Listen, this is crazy what you've done in so so little time, or so much, uh, so a few people and stuff like that." And the way the, the customers you got, stuff. so it's a big achievement, and we're just uh, climbing up, and it's just the tip, right? It's a huge achievement. Congratulations! But yeah, I'm sure in, it feels like there's a long way to go. And but you've done something amazing so far already. So a few people have mentioned like creating ChatGPT strategy. 
do you have a chat GPT strategy? So chat GPT strategy, we don't have it yet. We are uh, active subscribers of chat GPT. We're assessing the, you know, this kind of technology. Um, we are using it. We are using it uh, to shorten our time uh, in uh, developing uh, all kinds of POCs and all kinds of uh, YAMLs that we need to write or Python uh, playbooks or stuff like that. And um, so, not a fully fledged uh, strategy, but we're, we're getting there. We're thinking of how and we'll get the strategy. And my final question is models, does size matter, Daniel? You know the answer to that. <laughs> size does matter. Um, we can see that with ChatGPT, right? The, the, the data they are um, answering to us uh, upon, right, is a big model that uh, eventually gives us uh, more accurate information. And again, it doesn't need to be the biggest, right? I mean, even if you have uh, the biggest uh, data source uh, around for this kind of uh, this kind of model and, uh, 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 and models that you give. Uh, to the to customers, you can make you can make mistakes, and if you make mistakes, it doesn't matter. So, so to your answer, it needs to be big, but not the biggest. Very nice. Is there anything else you want to say before we say goodbye? Thank you, and best of luck. Thank you. Thank you for coming to talk to me. Yeah.